Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to episode number 34 of my Bar City Lower League Management playthrough in Football Manager 2015. And today we have that hard game I mentioned towards the end of the previous episode, of course, Eastley. Uh, they are sitting in first unbeaten. Are they the only unbeaten? Yep, they're the only unbeaten team in the league. They haven't scored so many goals though, like the most. They still scored a decent amount. We've actually scored the same amount of goals. We've both got 17. So, our goal scoring is not the problem. If you compare two teams around us, well, actually, Chester, they've just got a worse goal scoring, or oh, goal conceding, sorry, record. Uh, that's that's an area we need to fix. Like, if we can fix that, like I said, like easily only conceded six, that would make a huge difference. That's why I feel, yeah, this tactic, Um, what was the recent results? See, we're still conceding goals. That's a major problem. But, yeah, I feel as though this tactic can be fairly defensive. Because you got what? you got four at the back. you got defensive midfield on defense. So, you got five sitting back there. Deep line playmaker on defense. So, yeah, it's not it's not like attacking formation or anything. Only playing on standard. Uh, this is also the team I'm going to go in with. I really... Uh, Simon Locke, I know. Like, he doesn't look like a terrible goalkeeper for this level. He's got some decent, like, of these attributes here. Like, air ability... Uh, communication, uh, command of error, they're all pretty decent. Decisions is not too bad as well, of having some eccentricity uh, to go with that. Because generally, if you're, you've got a bit of a higher attribute for eccentricity, uh, yeah, decisions, if that's low, that's really bad. But if your decision's not too bad, it complements that. But yeah, if your decisions are poor, it's just gonna, it's not going to be great. Because it's like coming out and trying to win the ball and stuff. Probably goes along with rushing out as well. So that's one of his better attributes. So that's okay for him. So either way, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, our strikers kind of coming along well. Uh, Johan to horse is looking great. And actually, I've just scouted this guy as well from Eastley, uh, where I will go to the game or their team. I want to see if they're missing anyone as well. Uh, their key player, yeah. Um, Jake Hesketh, he's on loan from Southampton. So they've got a decent guy on loan. Uh, what's his report like? Um, see, he's already a good player listed. He's listed as a good player. Or, yeah, the scout report. Well, from our scout, actually. Uh, he's a good player for Skybet League 2 sides. And he's got potential to be a leading player in Skybet League 1. So even though he's on loan at them, I'm, I'm still going to keep my tabs on him. Because his contract is running out, yeah? Where are we? 2016, 2016. Exactly from Southampton. Doesn't have Premier League potential or even Championship. A bit below that. And, yeah, he's probably a bit better than Demkiv. But Demkiv has been classy for me, uh, playing this year slower tempo. And uh, you have guys really noticed that. Uh, playing a lower tempo, uh, lower tempo now and retain possession short of passing, it really brings him into the game more. And, yeah, hopefully it will go well. Uh, Raheem, or Raheem, yeah, Raheem Shekelford, he's starting his first game for us. Uh, he's got some decent attributes, good teamwork. I just felt he wasn't match fit, and I'm just going to give him the chance now. Who cares just waiting for him to play for the reserve team? Let's just play him now. And, oh, also another interesting fact, Curtis DeCosta. I, I, interestingly, or like, do we have listed for what? Yeah, for me, he was listed as a first-team player. Then I got a loan offer for him because uh, obviously he wanted that like first-team football and wasn't getting it. So, obviously, Bassingstoke, or Bassingstoke, yeah, um, from Vanarama South, they saw that and they offered him uh, that loan deal. He even played two games in the league. <laughs> in Skybet League 1 for Swindon last season. So, obviously, they needed to play him. Obviously, it's not heaps of games. But hopefully, he can play consistently. It's a one-month loan as, as well, for those wondering. He's got a decent amount of wages as well, so it's good to relieve that. Um, yeah, he's a decent player for that level and decent Skybet League 2 potential. And you can see now, yeah, a wage budget is a bit, a bit less. We're not in the red anymore. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It should go well for us, but yeah, this next game here, like, I'd be happy just to avoid defeat, really, when we're playing on, I don't know if you should play more of a counter game, but they're like, they're playing pretty much five at the back, they're playing, yeah, uh, two wing backs and three center backs, so I don't think they're going to be that dangerous, but look at their strikers, they got Constable, oh, he's got some good physicals, uh, stamina's really high and he's strong, Going to be a dangerous player to contend with in Midson. Uh, yeah, I felt just clicking on him, he'll be like a decent goal scorer. He's got some very good attributes. 
So their goalkeepers look, or not goalkeepers, sorry. Sometimes, I've noticed a few times, sometimes when I'm meaning to say striker, I say goalkeeper, and I don't know why. It just, it's one of those things. But yeah, like I was going to say, their strikers have a lot of experience. How about Constable? How old is he? Yeah, 30, and is it like 30 and 28? Well, no, 30 and 32. So that's even more experience. Wow. Than I thought, yeah. Just really experienced, 30 and older, so... We'll see how we can contend with them. Maybe I should be doing some team talks. How about Leah Lamb? What's his, like, tactical knowledge? It's 10. It's nothing special. But wait, if I put show positions... No, yeah, we are working on some. We'll work on those. So I'll leave it for now, but they haven't got wide players. So these ones I'm going to show onto weaker foot, the wingbacks. There we go. And close down. I'll see if that will work. But yeah, we do. Yeah, we are actually using opposition instructions. You just gotta. Yeah, I gotta make sure to show you that. Just so you know, I won't show you every time. But anyway, we'll go to team talk, and again, we'll do Leah Lamb because he seems to get some good reactions. And okay, people have said from now I should do uh, the personal team talks, but I feel as though when you've got all those there. You don't need to, but at least for the strikers, because the strikers didn't get a reaction. So what I'm going to do here is, or at least a green reaction. Oh, okay, I'll do assertively. I expect to see Kwati finishing out there. See, then he gets confused. <laughs> oh, man. And let's just try and do it for midfielders. Assertive. Um, I have faith in you. Okay. Some of those got motivated. So, yeah, I reckon that happened to me once. Uh, people said I should do that, and... Yeah, I got a bad reaction from one. Then I just absolutely never did it again. So, yeah, that's probably a reason why. But obviously, they have to colorate um, with the first original team talk you give. It has to make sense with that because, yeah, like I said, you can get confused. A player can get confused. So, yeah, you got to be mindful of that. But you saw, yeah, the midfielder one. A lot of them got good reactions. So, I suppose that's not too bad. Oh, ro no, what? He cleared it. Oh my god, I told you, I just always concede these fishy goals, it's like the first minute in, not even a minute played. We're going to have to see on the replay, but if it's in, yeah, it probably is going to be in. How can I tell from this angle, but it, you could probably see it go in. Oh no, come on! Oh no, it's not the best angle, but wow! It probably, it had to, because it's a game, it has to be correct, you'd think, like technically correct. But who knows, man? I don't even know. This team is dangerous, though. They're going on the attack again, and they're going to score. The goalkeeper's completely out of position. What is he doing? See, Hesketh. He shows his talent here, but, wh like, what the hell? Like, that's what I hate at this level. Goalkeepers, like, they're completely out of position. Like, look how far away he is. Look at this. Like, he, he has no idea. Poor. <sighs> It's really frustrating, isn't it? Both goals could have been preventable. Ah, uh, what do you do? What do you do here? Here almost comes another uh, good blocking. Get it out of there. But it is there. We've had more possession as well. We've been got the better of possession early. I thought hold on to possession, that will be okay. But obviously, I guess not. Come on, Robinson. At least show some signs here. Ugh, not giving away like that. Okay, Ward. He's composed. He's a good passer for a centre-back. Plays a dangerous ball. I'll push this one a bit back. So you can just see. Like, this pitch is, like, completely... <laughs> it's got more length about it. I'm not sure if that's a difference. Not used to playing on this kind of pitch. Oh, get rid of it. Adelsbury does well. Does that mean there's still going to be a chance? I'm not sure. It's going from end to end. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Nah, man. Let's go attacking here. We have to concede two goals. And despite that really, really good team talk, I don't think it actually makes a difference. Our defenders got good reactions in that. So we're just going to go aggressively, show me something else. So obviously... Why are you looking stressed? I'll just say, I have faith in you. Look at that. Perfect. I couldn't have done a more perfect team talk. All green reactions motivating and fired up my players. So if they don't do anything, like, 
<laughs> Let's see if we can get a goal here. Gallinar. Robinson. Whip this cross in to Horst. That was a good chance. Good chance. Now we have a corner. Marich finds walks and it's blocked. <laughs> Man. Oh my god. Look at all the space. We've got two guys back here. Should be able to deal with it. It's Midson. If they got it through there, it could have been dangerous. Come on, keeper. Don't stuff it up. Yeah, just get yeah, get rid of it. Get rid of it. That'll be all right. I'll just make some changes here. Keep players fresh for the next game because this is a hard team, obviously. We'll take Marichoff. We'll bring on Lee Palmer. Change position. How about Demkiv? Yeah, we'll drag Demkiv off and put Palmer there. Demkiv just get dropped for Dan Hart. And Rostern, we will rest. Who will we rest here? Chris McPhee? Or Shack uh, actually Shacklefield. Keep him fit for the next game and bring on Dan Ball. He can come on the right side. So, yeah, let's try and see how this goes. We'll change instructions, go more direct passing. Actually, what's route one? Yeah, some urgency. And then go with a higher tempo. And we'll see if that makes a difference. Got to change things when you look to attack. But also, no... Uh, fullbacks will go on attacking duty now. Need to look for a bit more. There we go. And hearts. The deep line playmaker will be just a bit more yeah, advanced on support there. So, come on. We're still in the game. At this level, you can score a lot of goals. You can concede a lot of goals. It's still possible. Two goals in uh, slightly over 30 minutes. It's doable. But we're against the best team in the league. I'm not sure if technically they're the best, but the way they've started the season, they are first. So come on, a goal here would give us some hope. Like I feel when we've got confidence, uh, we can start scoring. Come on, McPhee. To horse finish this! Oh, come on. Oh, You had to finish that. That had to be yeah in the back of the net if we were going to get something from this game. Come on, Walks, now! Adelsbury... Ooh, like, possession's been pretty even. They haven't completely killed us. <laughs> oh, it would have been a bit deflating if we conceded that. Like, they've only had five shots on target. That's the positive. We haven't been completely dominated. Maybe change to a bit more fluid here. And team talk. We'll go passionately. Show some passion. Come on. I know, yeah, this could be a relegation struggling season, I feel. But, yeah, if these games... Yeah, they're going to be hard. But home games is where we got to look to win. The winnable games. And can probably get a mid-table position. Because, yeah, they score again here. I think, yeah, this team is just too good for us. Ugh. But it will be very deflating. Especially for supporters as well. Like, win a winning a game there. Then losing. Winning. Then losing. You want some consist yeah consistency winning games. Like I said, going to the FA Cup um, games. I want to be winning those for the money. We need that right now. So we need to see some form. Come on, what are we doing here? Even a goal. A goal against this team, like a, a good goal as well, would be nice to see. But Midson coming in, Gallinar. I feel as though we need more amazing centre-backs. We've got a couple younger guys, and we've got Gallinar, who's the experienced, but he's not like absolutely amazing. He's just a good captain for the team. So that makes him play well in some games, but other games, yeah, we just don't defend well enough. That's the sh easy way to put it. But I'm not going to take this result too seriously. Eastleigh's the best team in the league. They've only conceded six goals. So it's hard enough. <laughs> yeah, it's hard enough to win when they score three. And we can't seem to score. McFay, come on. Just one goal. Some positive sign to take out of this game. See, the passing, the build-up's not too bad here. We need the finishing touch, though. Here we go. Palmer to Horst. Come on. I feel as though we've done everything we could in this game. Like, that was a fantastic created chance. It was well worked. They just showed their amazing defensive ability here. We probably could have scored two goals at least, I feel. Had two really good chances. We've had the same amount of clear-cut chances. Three, actually. But they've just been a really tight unit at the back here. Credit to them. 
we did our best, but we couldn't just break it down. Obviously, they just had a better quality, <laughs> better quality on the day, and probably better quality players in altogether. Just but disappointing and seemed down and pressured. I'll say walks. I'll just say calmly, um, you are unlucky, but good effort. But that's not a good reaction for him. And see, now we move to twenty. I don't like that yo-yo from out of the relegation zone to back into it. Hopefully, we don't have that, and yeah, we can get the result in the next game. And look at this. Sturrock, the Bristol Rovers manager, has been sacked. And where are they? Shit, they're on top of us. So I could be in danger. It depends on their expectations, though. Few club information. See, yeah, they, they were predicted to come around top five. So I wouldn't think we're in danger of that. Because if we go to the board and we'll go confidence, uh, the conference, it says, the minimum expectation is that the team stay clear of relegation. It says the board are satisfied that the team have tried their best. So even if I get relegated, has this happened to you? Have you ever been promoted, then relegated, but you've still kept your job? Has that happened? But I don't want to get relegated. That would be just such a damper on the series. Uh, but yeah, every year it's a new save. But I want to say, yeah, last year in FM14, it took me four... I think on the fourth season, I got promoted. And by then, I had, yeah, quite a few regions coming in, I, I think... I started pretty well as well. I was mid-table, but then I pushed on towards the end of the season. I just finished outside the playoffs, and it was really good because I timed that really well, even though people were saying, like, it took you this long to get promoted for the first time. But, yeah, then it, I was in a good position. My squad management was good bringing through these youngsters that I was able to be... I wasn't really regarded as a team that was going to get relegated, or we didn't play that way at least anyway. So that that was good. And here we're in a different situation. Here I got promoted in the first season and I don't really have that many amazing talents coming through. And I couldn't really find any in the off season. I don't know yeah, if I just couldn't find any or there's none actually there that wanted to come <laughs> of of the quality uh, with the potential I was looking for. Because you actually had a few guys in Premier League potential. What's Yeah, how do you pl find your players this year? Um, good regions. I had no problem finding them last year. I don't know. Yeah, this year they say they don't want to relocate or something like that. So yeah, leave your feedback. So here, uh, you know how I talked about maybe my lack of quality at the back? I'll be looking to, yeah, maybe go for a loan. It's funny, I've loaned out one of my yeah, centre backs I signed personally, and now I'm looking for someone else. But yeah, some that happens in football. Maybe a player you signed didn't think, but yeah, the guy I've sent out on loan, DaCosta, whatever his name is, what is his name? Yeah, yeah, Curtis DaCosta, he's got some potential about him. Like, he's got potential to be a decent League 2 player. That means that this league we are in right now, he's going to be a really, really good player once he gets to his best. He's 20. So, yeah, you see those attributes like tackling 9, passing 9, marking 8, heading 9, strength 11, jumping reach 11. At his best, those can develop uh, to a decent, you know, decent level for this level, if that makes sense. So there's two guys here. I probably won't go for both. Uh, we'll see this guy, if they both want to join, he would want to join for a loan. Apparently, he'll be a decent signing for just Vanarama North or South Sides. But, we, yeah, when I was looking for these, I was looking at their specific attributes, and they look pretty well-rounded in tackling, marking, heading, jumping reach. Strength isn't absolutely amazing, but positioning as well, that's important. Leadership at a young age from Leeds. Where did he play last season? Okay, he wasn't loaned out, so got to keep that in mind. He hasn't really been... Like, this guy's three years older, Anthony Furlong, and his current ability is slightly higher. So, we'll see what's the deal. For It doesn't even say, like, he wouldn't want to join. Like, he's playing in this league right now. That's something to take into consideration. Last year, played 34 games for Braintree. Uh, but they obviously don't consider him a first-teamer. But he looks all right, doesn't he? Like, phys okay, naturally, he's a fullback. Not a centre back, but he's got good strength and he's quick and he can tackle. So as you can see, the offer, as expected as well, it's a, it's accepted, and it's a good player to get on loan. Of course, he's at another team in this division, but he's played here a whole season in the first season, started thirty two league games, and I know it's not over average of seven rating, but like, it's not horrendous. And this season, the games he's played. He's actually done really well, scored two goals, started seven games. So he's a decent player to have. I'm really happy about this signing. Hopefully, I don't know if he's going to make... He, like, one player is not going to make a complete difference, unless he's attacking player that scores a lot of goals. 
but ho- hopefully he'll be able to back up the other players and just generally perform better. And he's 21. He's going to turn 22 in December. But yeah, he might be leaving, but hopefully he can renew the loan and all of that. But this season, yeah, 6.98 rating, he seems to be getting the job done, but he's not like a first team player for them. He's not like he's, they've put him in the under 21s, even though he started five games this season. How many games has there been this season? Okay, 10, yeah. He's played half of the games or started half of the game. So exciting to get him on loan, really. Yeah, we send the other guy out on loan who we were paying wages and now we're not because he's out on loan and now we've got this other guy who actually on for free we're not paying his wages so some interesting facts there so we'll be training him as a center back because that's where we're going to be using him so we go individual role central defender on defend i'm not sure if it'd be the cover maybe it could be the cover now i'll just do defend for now because we are playing one on cover and we'll do center back there we go we'll train him on that and Hopefully, he can do something. We're missing some key players like God. And this guy, I thought him and Tahorse together were just banging the goals, as I've mentioned before. So, it's a bit of a disappointment. Uh, we aren't. We're only paying, yeah, his loan, only 70 per week. Uh, yeah, hopefully, you can just stick around. We can stay in a decent position. We can get out of this relegation zone, win the home games. That's what we've got to search for. Next episode will be two away games. So that'll be a bit tricky. But then, what's Chester? Then we got... Ooh, then we got three homes in a row. Whew. Imagine if we got three wins. That's what we've got to target. We've got at least a minimum. They have to be two wins, at least. And I'll be targeting three. So here we are for the Staley Bridge game. It is a must win. They are 10th. So they've done okay this season, winning four games. We have only won the two. But if I'm going to go for that, like, if I can take, yeah, we're not going to win many away games. <laughs> we haven't done so yet. Only two wins coming from home. If I say we're going to go for the home games, trying to get the three points in the majority of those, we have to do it. Because if we slip away from that, it's going to be a very tough season. Because, yeah, if we win this, what, we'll launch to 12 points. And we could actually be in a decent position depending on what other teams do here. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't want it to be like a yo-yo season. Getting It'll be very frustrating. But you've got to think our expectation. We're actually, out of all the teams that got promoted, we were touted as the worst. So, yeah, we're coming in here... Uh, we'll keep some of the players in. Uh, Phil Shekelfield at right back. Shekelfield at right back. Um, yeah, Furlong as well. And th- hopefully he can make a difference, even though he is naturally a right back. For me, he's got all the... Because I was searching for a centre back and I was searching for the good attributes, good defensive attributes, and he had that. And he's he's not like one of those fullbacks who's weak in the air or something. Good jumping reach, decent heading, uh, pretty strong. So, oh, I think he'd do a good job as a centre back. Like the look of him. And as I said, he played a full season last season, pretty much. So we'll push on. Furlong, actually, we have to give him a number. We'll give him number 12. Again, numbers don't really matter too much. Don't think they affect the performances. See, Staley Bridge is favorite. Come on, let's prove them wrong. We are at home here. Surely we've got this. We've got Marich and Adelsbury in the middle there. Walks as defensive midfield. Come on, we can do this. Again, we'll just leave, again, opposition instructions, how they're set there. Uh, we shall say, passionately, do it for the fans. So here, we'll do for a midfielder talk. Again, we'll say, yeah, controlled midfield. So no amazing reactions there. Defenders would go assertive. Um, I have faith in you. Okay, some decent reactions there. So that's not too bad. Let's go. Again, we can put this a bit wider now because it's just a completely different contrast, our pitch, <laughs> uh, compared to the previous game. Come on. Early goal would be nice. Adelsbury. Oh, Ben Adelsbury. He is back. He's hitting some form now. Uh, second goal of the season. Come on, Ben. Step up. I know your quality. You can score a lot of goals. And I think in real life, he scores a decent amount as well. Like, sometimes people send me, like, the scores of our city if they've won a game or something. And, yeah, I see him score sometimes. He scores some good goals. Yeah, so that's why I feel as a... Like, a lot... He scores from free kicks and that, uh, for me. Uh, so I feel he's got good long shots as well. And as box-to-box midfield, they were getting goal-scoring positions. Needs to be that kind of player for us. Because I do have the faith in his ability, and he can keep growing a bit. But here, it's Dudley. It's Dudley. Good save. Come on, Locke. He should be a beastly goalkeeper at this level. He's got good ratings. Much better compared to others. There's some actually really poor goalkeepers on some of the team's lists. So, 
Oh, that looked to be a poor pass. The initial, yeah, the initial direction. Come on, let's score another. Adelsbury, shoot, hit one. Oh, that wasn't too far away, though. That wasn't too far away from Adelsbury. Really good. See, we're dominating possession early, 56%, exactly what I want. Now it's Dudley, come on, don't let him play it through. Oh, we're a bit lucky, we're a bit lucky, come on. Team talk, assertively, concentrate, don't concede a goal. And I wouldn't want to go defend here, like, at home. You, would, you wouldn't want that. Okay, we'll see what happens here, but I'm thinking to stay on, like, actually go to control here in the tactic. Oh, but they, they are creating chances. Far, we're lucky. And also, um, that's something I want to say. You know, sometimes, like, say far, it doesn't mean, like, I mean, like, I'm about to swear. It's, like, probably just short for far out instead of saying that. It's just, I don't know why. I probably it was intended uh, to be instead of like a bad word. Um, like I used to say it, like a lot of people s like used to say it when I was in school and stuff <laughs> instead of obviously cursing. But anyway, I've just got used to saying it when something bad happens, I suppose you can say. Oh, but come on, let's move on here. Come on, Stern, get a second goal. We need a second here. And then I'll be confident we can get the three points. Demkiv, Adelsbury. Oh, that's a red, yes. Yes, this is going to be a red, surely. Uh, D. Haviland is going to be sent off. Unfortunate for them, though, but I, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy about it. Gives us more chance to win. Adelsbury is going to take this, or... Yep. Hopefully he can score. If he's going to take it, that's the thing. <laughs> it takes a while to get into the position, just sorting themselves out after the red card. But please, Ben Adelsbury. Ooh, not a terrible effort. And just going to halftime, winning 1-0 would be solid. That would be a solid way to go in. And we'll say assertively and just say, don't get complacent. Okay, some good reactions. I don't want to mess with it there. <laughs> I don't want to mess with it. Because sometimes you can do that. You get players confused or something like that. I'll be happy with a few good reactions and go, yeah, controlling the game. He'll be interesting because we are basing our game around that, again, retain possession, short passing, lower tempo, maybe playing on control more often than not compared to standard. We'll see. What do you think anyway? Or oh, Adelsbury hits another one. <laughs> I told you he's good at those. He gets them close. If he doesn't score, he gets them close, either still on target or just slightly missing. So this has been a very good game, pushing towards 60% possession against a team that's won four games this season. So it's not like they're an easy team to beat, but it just shows you the home ground advantage, really. Unless they score here. No. Oh, he's offside. So, yeah, not bad defending there. They caught him offside. Okay. Please, come on. Can we take a chance? Here we go. Themkiv! How many close chances have we had here? We've had nine long shots, actually. We've only had two on target. So, may not be taking him. Uh, Shekelford will take him off and bring on Dan Ball. You know he's going to come in and do a good job. Uh, Marich, he's actually the captain for this game. Just bring on some more fresh legs. Dan Hart, I actually really like Dan Hart. Hasn't been absolutely amazing, but... Progressing in training, I think he's an absolutely amazing signing, especially for the future. Doesn't say his actual potential right now, but look at that. Yeah, four-star minimum potential. And then the black star for the fifth as his maximum. And we'll just do two for now because there's still a possibility of getting injury, which of course we don't want. Dan Ball. So both the Dans, they come on. And they're both players I rate. And they both look happy coming on. So that's gone perfect. I'd love another goal. A team talk maybe before we concede as well. Say calmly. Say, what should we say? Yeah, tighten up as well. Just make sure we don't concede. Come on, let's finish off this game here. We've been actually pretty good. Well, they've got three clear-cut chances. They had a chance there as well. That Okay, that counts as another four. And we've had zero. So it's an interesting mix <laughs> how that has gone down. We'll do one more. One more sub to finish off this game. Ross Stern, I reckon... Hmm, I'm not sure, actually. We could put another number in midfield. Like, we can bring Lee Palmer in. You know, he's a young, talented player for us. We can just put another midfielder in there 
Maybe we'll put him just more of a, just, yeah, attacking midfield on support. Just put another midfield number in there. I know it makes the formation look a bit weird, but, yeah, just put another number in there. Lee Palm, he's got the good potential again, that four-star minimum. Good pass, a good first touch, determined, composed on the ball as well. Just all of those together makes him a really good player. And we need to do, we do need to give him that game time. That's how he's going to develop and reach that. I remember, yeah, I think it was League One potential he has. He needs, because he's not going to get it through training. We don't have the facilities, teams at this level. I've mentioned it before. Uh, players develop through game time, first team game time. Come on. It's like, we need more than one goal here. No, tap in. We needed more than one goal. That was obvious. They equalized with 10 men, no way. And it was just after we took off a striker as well. That's annoying. And look, he's, he's how is he by himself though? And obviously we'll just direct straight in his path as well. That's so frustrating. Oh, passionately, what do we say? Push forward. But wow. That's going to be it. Dan Hart. Adelsbury. Oh, he takes it. I thought the game was going to end. Honestly, I did. Because look at the time. Yeah, it's past three minutes. But don't forget, it's a minimum of three minutes. So the ref is allowed to add some extra time. So whew, may we get a bit lucky there. But Ben Adelsbury. Both goals in these games. Who or both goals in this game? We I do we do deserve the points really. We dominate. Look at that sixty two percent possession. But you could say they had six clear cut chances. Possession's not everything if you don't do something with it. But we did do something with it. That's it. <laughs> we did. Maybe that's a win we needed. Some inspiration from Ben Adelsbury. Very nice victory. Boost the morale up. Surely, surely with that Adelsbury. Whew. It's been so long since I've seen a dominant performance from him like that. Oh, look at that development. So, obviously, doing well in training. See, his attributes look really balanced. Like, it, with his technical attributes, he's got quite a few decent ones, doesn't he? You can see long shots. That's why he scored uh, from the free kick. And that last goal wasn't that long, but looked like a powerful shot. Shoots from distance and hits free kicks with power, preferred moves. And he's got... Look at that difference from, yeah, current ability to potential ability. He's got a potential to, to be a leading player in this division. So... Whew, Adelsbury, he needs to, yeah, start stepping up, though, and playing that way, and he did in that game. So, yeah, I reckon we shall leave it uh, for there for now, and we're still in that yo-yo performances, a win and a loss, a win and a loss, and a win and a loss, but if we keep going like that for the rest of the season, we are definitely going to get enough wins uh, to steer clear of relegation. We'll probably finish in a mid-table position, which would be pretty good. If we, yeah, win our home games, I'll be happy with that. Obviously, you're not going to win every single home game. But if we win a lot of them, we'll be in a good position. So that's a big thing. FA Cup, you yeah, know, probably how much? Two, oh, one, two, three in four episodes time. So that's going to be coming gradually. I want to upload these a bit more because obviously this is going to be a longer series. So I'll probably look to upload at least two per day uh, once I get recording a bit more as I'm back into it now, obviously. We'll see how it goes anyway. Are you enjoying it? Obviously, games are going to be more important as we're... Yeah, it's it's hard to win games. We're struggling. So it's going to be really exciting when I do win or the games are going to be close and all that kind of thing. So either way, if you want to see some more of this, drop a like and I'll see you guys next time. Also, guys, for those of you that haven't come over to subscribe to my PEZ 2015 channel... I will be leaving a link to the channel in the description. As I said, for those of you that haven't come over to subscribe yet, yeah, uh, come over. Really good videos I feel I'm producing on this channel as well. A lot of you agree with that. Uh, 1,500 now <laughs> of you have come over and maybe some new subs coming in. Uh, but yeah, first episode hit over 500 likes. That's insane stuff. And second episode, uh, 350. So still doing... Uh, really well that's excellent for a new channel so i will leave the link in the description come over we'll be doing a master league as well if you're a guy that likes to see a career mode more specifically opposed to you're yeah, a player uh, become a legend so hopefully um you can come over and i will see you guys there